And Yitshak, the son of Avraham, became old and advanced in days, and his eyes became heavy through age. They were dim and could not see. At that time, Yitshak called unto Esau, his son, saying, Get, I pray you, your weapons, your quiver, and your bow. Rise up and go forth into the field, and get me some venison, and make me savory meat, and bring it to me, that I may eat in order that I may bless you before my death, as I have now become old and gray-headed. And Esau did so, and he took his weapon, and went forth into the field to hunt for venison, as usual, to bring to his father as he had ordered him, so that he might bless him. And Rivka heard all the words that Yitzhak had spoken unto Esau, and she hastened and called her son, Yaagav, saying, Thus did your father speak unto your brother Esau, and thus did I hear. Now therefore hasten you, and make that which I shall tell you. Rise up and go, I pray you, to the flock, and fetch me two fine kids of the goats, and I will get the savory meat for your father, and you shall bring the savory meat that he may eat before your brother shall have come from the chase, in order that your father may bless you. And Yaagov hastened and did as his mother had commanded him, and he made the savory meat and brought it before his father before Esau had come from his chase. And Yitshak said unto Yaagov, Who are you, my son? And he said, I am your firstborn Esau. I have done as you did order me. Now therefore rise up, I pray you, and eat of my hunt in order that your soul may bless me as you did speak unto me. And Yitzhak rose up, and he ate, and he drank, and his heart was comforted, and he blessed Yaagov, and Yaagov went away from his father. And as soon as Yitzhak had blessed Yaagov, and he had gone away from him, behold, Esau came from his hunt from the field, and he also made savory meat and brought it to his father to eat therefore and to bless him. And Yitzhak said unto Esau, And who was he that had taken venison and brought it to me before you came and whom I did bless? And Esau knew that his brother Yaagov had done this, and the anger of Esau was kindled against his brother Yaagov, that he had acted thus toward him. And Esau said, Is he not rightly called Yaagov? For he has supplanted me twice. He took away my birthright, and now he has taken away my blessing. And Esau wept greatly. And when Yitshak heard the voice of his son Esau weeping, Yitshak said unto Esau, What can I do, my son? Your brother came with subtility and took away your blessing. And Esau hated his brother Yaagov on account of the blessing that his father had given him, and his anger was greatly roused against him. And Yaagov was very much afraid of his brother Esau, and he rose up and fled to the house of Eber, the son of Shem. And he concealed himself there on account of his brother. And Yaagov was 63 years old when he went forth from the land of Canaan, from Kevron. And Yaagov was concealed in Eber's house 14 years on account of his brother Esau. And he there continued to learn the ways of Yahuwah and his commandments. And when Esau saw that Yaagov had fled and escaped from him, and that Yaagov had cunningly obtained the blessing, then Esau grieved exceedingly, and he was also vexed at his father and mother. And he also rose up and took his woman and went away from his father and mother to the land of Seir. And he dwelt there. And Esau saw there a woman from amongst the daughters of Keth, whose name was Basemath, the daughter of Elam, the Ketim. And he took her for a woman in addition to his first woman 
And Esau called her name Ada, saying the blessing had in that time passed from him. And Esau dwelt in the land of Seir six months without seeing his father and mother. And afterward, Esau took his women and rose up and returned to the land of Canaan. And Esau placed his two women in his father's house in Kevron. And the women of Esau vexed and provoked Yitzhak and Rivka with their works, for they walked not in the ways of Yahuwah, but served their father's Allahim of wood and stone as their father had taught them, and they were more wicked than their father. And they went according to the evil desires of their hearts, and they sacrificed and burned incense to the Baalim, and Yitzhak and Rivka became weary of them. And Rivka said, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Keth. If Yahagov take a woman of the daughters of Keth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good then is life unto me? And in those days Ada, the woman of Esau, conceived and bore him a son. And Esau called the name of the son that was born unto him, Eliphaz. And Esau was sixty-five years old when she bore him. And Yishmael, the son of Abraham, died in those days, in the sixty-fourth year of the life of Yahagav. And all the days that Yishmael lived were one hundred and thirty-seven years, and he died. And when Yitzhak heard that Yishmael was dead, he mourned for him, and Yitzhak lamented over him many days. And at the end of fourteen years of Yaagov's residing in the house of Eber, Yaagov desired to see his father and mother, and Yaagov came to the house of his father and mother to Kephron. And Esau had in those days forgotten what Yaagov had done to him, and having taken the blessing from him in those days. And when Esau saw Yaagov coming to his father and mother, he remembered what Yaagov had done to him, and he was greatly incensed against him, and he sought to slay him. And Yitzhak, the son of Abraham, was old and advanced in days. And Esau said, Now my father's time is drawing nigh that he must die. And when he shall die, I will slay my brother Yahagov. And this was told to Rivka, and she hastened and sent and called for Yahagov her son. And she said unto him, Arise, go and flee to Haran to my brother Levon, and remain there for some time until your brother's anger be turned from you, and then shall you come back. And Yitshak called unto Yahagov and said unto him, Take not a woman from the daughters of Canaan, for thus did our father Abraham command us according to the word of Yahuwah, which he had commanded him, saying, Unto your seed will I give this land, if your children guard my covenant that I have made with you. Then will I also perform to your children that which I have spoken unto you, and I will not forsake them. Now therefore, my son, hearken to my voice, to all that I shall command you, and refrain from taking a woman from amongst the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Haran, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take unto you a woman from there, from the daughters of Levon, your mother's brother. Therefore take heed, lest you should forget Yahuwah Alaheka and all his ways in the land to which you go, and should get connected with the people of the land and pursue vanity and forsake Yahuwah Alaheka. But when you come to the land, serve there Yahuwah. Do not turn to the right or to the left from the way which I commanded you and which you did learn. And may Al Shaddai grant you favor in the sight of the people of the earth that you may take there a woman according to your choice, one who is good and upright in the ways of Yahuwah. And may Allahim give unto you and your seed the blessing of your father Abraham, and make you fruitful and multiply you, 
and may you become a multitude of people in the land whither you go. And may Allahim cause you to return to this land, the land of your father's dwelling, with children and with great riches, with joy and with pleasure. And Yitshak finished commanding Yaagov and blessing him, and he gave him many gifts, together with silver and gold, and he sent him away. And Yaagov hearkened to his father and mother. He kissed them and arose and went to Padan Aram. And Yaagov was 77 years old when he went out from the land of Kenaan from Be'er Sheva. And when Yaagov went away to go to Haran, Esau called unto his son Eliphaz and secretly spoke unto him, saying, Now hasten, take your sword in your hand and pursue Yaagov and pass before him in the road and lurk for him and slay him with your sword in one of the mountains and take all belonging to him and come back. And Eliphaz, the son of Esau, was an active man, an expert with the bow as his father had taught him. And he was a noted hunter in the field and a valiant man. And Eliphaz did as his father had commanded him. And Eliphaz was at that time 13 years old. And Eliphaz rose up and went and took 10 of his mother's brothers with him and pursued Yaagov. And he closely followed Yaagov, and he lurked for him in the border of the land of Canaan, opposite to the city of Shechem. And Yaagov saw Eliphaz and his men pursuing him, and Yaagov stood still in the place in which he was going, in order to know what this was, for he did not know the thing. And Eliphaz drew his sword, and he went on advancing, he and his men, toward Yaagov. And Yaagov said unto them, what is, what, is to do with, what is to do with you that you have come hither? And what does it mean that you pursue with your swords? And Eliphaz came near to Yaagov, and he answered and said unto him, Thus did my father command me, and now therefore I will not deviate from the orders which my father gave me. And when Yaagov saw that Esau had spoken to Eliphaz to employ force, Yaagov then approached and supplicated Eliphaz and his men, saying to them, saying to him, Behold all that I have, and which my father and mother gave unto me, that take unto you, and go from me, and do not slay me. And may this thing be accounted unto you a righteousness. And Yahuwah caused Yaagov to find favor in the sight of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, and his men. And they hearkened to the voice of Yaagov, and they did not put him to death. And Eliphaz and his men took all belonging to Yaagov together with the silver and gold that he had brought with him from Be'er Sheva. They left him nothing. And Eliphaz and his men went away from him, and they returned to Esau to bear Sheva. And they told him all that had occurred to them with Yaagov, and they gave him all that they had taken from Yaagov. And Esau was indignant at Eliphaz his son, and at his men that were with him, because they had not put Yaagov to death. And they answered and said unto Esau, because Yaagov supplicated us in this matter not to slay him. Our pity was excited toward him, and we took all belonging to him and brought it unto you. And Esau took all the silver and gold which Eliphaz had taken from Yaagov, and he put them by in his house. At that time, when Esau saw that Yitshak had blessed Yaagov and had commanded him, saying, You shall not take a woman from amongst the daughters of Canaan, and that the daughters of Canaan were bad in the sight of Yitshak and Rivka. Then he went to the house of Yishmael, his uncle, and in addition to his other women, he took Makhloth, the daughter of Yishmael, the sister of Nevaoth, for a woman. <laughs>